FreeDraw. In this video, you will learn how to sketch using FreeDraw and use the FreeDraw tools. Tap on the tools icon on the top left and then select FreeDraw. You will be taken into the FreeDraw screen mode. Tap and slide your finger across the screen and release your finger to set your starting point, as shown with the purple dot. Continue by tapping and dragging to draw the walls with your finger until all walls have been sketched. Note, these shortcuts in FreeDraw. After drawing two walls of your rectangular room, you can tap the close room to auto-close the room and exit FreeDraw mode. After drawing all but one wall, you can tap the check to auto-close the room. Starting over. After drawing all but one wall, you can tap the check to auto-close the room. This also goes for angled walls. Now let's cover the icons towards the bottom of the screen from left to right. Remember, you can pause and play at your speed. Feel free to use the dimensions on the screen to give it a try as you follow along. Disto. For disto and laser meter usage, refer to our next video. Keypad. The keypad allows you fine-tune measurements by entering exact numeric values. Start by drawing a wall, then enter dimensions into keypad and apply to adjust your last drawn wall. Continue until walls note you can use the keypad to adjust other measurement properties when editing doors, opening, triangulation, side, and subtract. Door. The door allows you add doors as you draw your walls. Set the starting point and draw the first wall. This measurement should be from the door jam to the corner of the room. Now tap the door icon to insert a doorway. You can fine tune the measurement using the keypad or disto. Then continue drawing the wall from the other side of the doorway. Continue drawing all the walls in the room, then tap the check mark icon to auto close the room. Opening. This tool allows you insert a missing wall section, such as an opening from one room to another without a door. Draw the first wall segment, then tap on the opening icon and draw the missing wall segment. It will appear as dashed lines. Then continue drawing the rest of the walls of the room. Click the check mark icon to auto close the room. Note, this wall will appear as a thin line compared to the usual wall sections. Hidden. If you want to hide all existing rooms while in the free draw screen, tap on the eyeball icon. This will give you all the screen space to draw the current shape you are working on. The rooms will appear automatically once you close your current shape or tap on the hidden icon again. Switch. Using the switch icon, you can change the position of the purple dot and thus change the starting point for the next wall you draw. This is useful when you need to switch to another point if something is obstructing your view to capture the next measurement. Triangulation. The next tool in FreeDraw is triangulation. This function is useful for drawing angled walls in regularly shaped rooms. First pre-draw the wall. Make sure you have the actual distance from edge to edge of the angled wall. Then tap the triangulation icon on the bottom menu. A dashed line will appear showing the length between the purple point and the nearest opposite corner. You can manually input the actual length of the distance between these two points using the keypad tool, and measure square will adjust the wall angle based on that. If the first point given is not visible, use any of the gray dots that appear to use the respective corner as the reference point. The dashed line will adjust accordingly. Snap. Tap the snap icon to view the menu of various setting options in free draw mode. Use the check to set options on or off. For example, if you check the first option, you can choose to auto close the shape near the start point. You can also choose whether to snap to corner points, snap to room side, snap to close room corner, and snap to 45 or 90 degree angle. 
If you wish to uncheck all of these options at once, hit Disable All, using this existing wall as a starting point. At the end of the third wall, we can click Done and the program will auto-close that last wall. As you can see, it is aligned with the wall of Room 1. We recommend keeping these options on. Arc. Draw the straight walls of the room, and then tap on the Arc tool when you want to start the arced wall. The program generates an arc from the purple starting point with dashed lines indicating the distances between the ending point and opposite corners. You can use your finger to manually drag the orange points to adjust the arc dimensions. You can also use the keypad function to input exact numeric values for each orange highlighted dashed line. Once you have customized the arced wall to your liking and it's set with your green dots, you can then continue drawing the remaining walls and auto-complete the room. An additional method is shown in the resize by drag video toward the end of this playlist. Lock. The next free draw feature is the 45 90 degree angle lock. As you can see, right now, when we draw room walls, the wall snap to 45 90 degree increments. To draw walls with any angle degree, tap the 45 90 degree angle lock icon so that it is no longer highlighted blue. Now we can freely draw a wall at any angle we want without the angle lock restriction from earlier. Side. When selecting a starting point and sliding along an existing wall to set your purple starting point, you can see the length dimensions on either side of the purple dot. The numbers change accordingly as you slide along the existing wall. You can manually input an exact value for the blue highlighted line segment using the keypad function. Press the adjust starting point icon on the bottom right to switch to the other line segment. Now we continue drawing our room using the existing room walls as reference. The remaining three walls are now highlighted blue based on the existing rooms, and we can hit the checkmark icon to auto-close the room. Subtract. There will be time when your laser meter cannot capture a wall dimension if there is nowhere for it to stop the dimension being referenced. Refer to the next video with laser meter usage for the correct way to use this tool. Close. Tap this icon when you have reached your final measuring point to close the shape you are working on.